everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So it's been a wee while since I last went in a hotel break and I thought what well, perfect time to go when we've got a brand new hotel on our website. So we are going to the Brisbane Hotel located in the nice seafront town of Larks. So yeah we're just looking forward to getting a wee break away. Now I'm going with my usual partner in crime Stephen and we are staying in one of our own offers which is dinner bed and breakfast and room upgrades. It's brand new launch offer and it's only £45 per person which is amazing and I'm just going to show you the booking process and how easy it is to actually book. So you go to myhotelbreak.com which is mobile friendly and all you do is type in the hotel Brisbane Hotel in Largs and then the date that you have in mind, how many nights and for how many people and what's good is there's no hidden booking fees or anything like that. Now once you scroll down to the bottom here you will see the offer which is £45 dinner bed and breakfast and room upgrade. So once you scroll down it will just show you everything that's included in the offer and you just double check all your dates and then you go into the room option. Just put your lead name in and check all the information. Once you're into this bit all we need from you is an email address, postcode and address followed by a Visa, Visa Debit or MasterCard. Now this is just to secure the booking, nothing is taken from your account. So now that you have booked, the good thing about booking is it is book now, pay with, when you stay with the majority of our offers. So we are just getting ready to go and as usual we are leaving from small town in Lanark between Glasgow and Edinburgh so it should take us maybe just about over an hour there. So we shall see you when we get there. room 101 which is an executive double room. Now the offer we've booked on does include your dinner bed and breakfast and a room upgrade which is subject to availability um, and allocated on check-in which we were so it's great to see that we did get the upgraded room. Now I'm just going to show you around the room. To start off with as you walk in the room you do have this um, great amount of storage and as you can already see I've put all my stuff in and you've got some coat hangers to hang your clothing items up. 
Now over to the corner here, what I like about this room is, and any hotel place I go on, is when there's a dressing table because it's really handy when you're applying your makeup on at night and in the morning. So there is a large mirror here and in the drawer, which is also handy, is the blow dryer here because um, I've left mine at home so <laughs> that's always helpful. And over here we have the usual tea and coffee facilities. Um, so we've got some Tetley tea and we've also got some Nescafe and some cookies which I'll be eating because I'm starving. <laughs> and over here um, you can see we have got a lovely sea view room. You can see here. And over here we've got a big large king size bed. And what I love about this room is the colours in it. I really like the lime green because it just makes it feel the room feel really light and vibrant. And then towards the end of the bed here you've got a sofa which you can watch the TV on here. And then also we've got some destination guides. This is particularly handy for us because I've not actually been here in a few years so it'll be good to know um, what there is in the local area. And then over towards my left here Again, we've got a lovely bay window of the sea view, which is nice to see again. And over towards the bathroom, now it is a large bathroom we've got here. As you can see, we've got a jacuzzi bath, which I'll certainly be going into. And then you've also got a kind of walk-in shower sort of style, and with a small step. And over towards here, we have got some Mason and Miller toiletries so we've got some shampoo some shower gel and then some soap and it's quite handy when the hotels have shampoo because again I have forgotten these so overall we are really happy with the room it's large room and it's the upgraded room that was included in the offer so we are now going to go and explore some of the area the room and just chilled for a wee bit and what was quite good is in the room there wasn't actually any iron and iron board and um, so reception brought one up which was quite handy so we're now just going to go up for dinner and really looking forward to it as I haven't actually had a wee look at any menu yet usually I always like to have a wee look beforehand so no I'm really looking forward to it and we will see you in the restaurant
Stephen and I both opted for the chicken liver patty served with oat cakes from the set menu and the seared scallop served from the a la carte menu, all of which were delicious apart from the oat cakes were on the chunkier side. For main course, Stephen had the chicken served with haggis, mash and veg and a peppercorn sauce and I opted for the roast top side of beef served with red wine jus, mash and veg which was cooked to perfection. For dessert, Stephen opted for the apple crumble served with ice cream or custard if preferred and as being a chocoholic, I opted for the chocolate fudge cake served with ice cream, all of which was delicious. eating our dinner which was delicious and I'm just gonna go for a bubble bath and eat some of my winnings from the arcade earlier 20 pounds worth <laughs> so yeah we will see you in the morning morning guys so we have just woken up from a very comfortable sleep we were both out for the count and the bed was so comfortable, probably one of the most comfiest beds I've actually been in in a hotel break. The mattress was just so soft and yeah, overall we weren't disturbed during the night, we hardly heard any noise and we woke up from this beautiful sea view, which I'll show you here. So it has cleared up a lot since yesterday. And now we are just going to head down for breakfast. just back from breakfast and overall yeah it was a really enjoyable experience um, breakfast opening hours are between seven and half past nine in the morning so we went down but just around about eight o'clock there and it was fairly quiet and what I liked about it was it wasn't just your standard typical buffet breakfast it was cooked to order and um, so there was a few options to choose from and we opted for the full Scottish breakfast which was really delicious I think it's sometimes a lot fresher when it's uh, cooked to order as well and yeah there was also the continental option where you could get some toast uh, some fruit and um, there wasn't any pastries however that was the only criticism because I do love a little pastry at the end of my breakfast but yeah overall it was a really enjoyable experience and now I'm just sitting in this comfy bed for one last time before we check out We have just checked out of the Brisbane Hotel and we are now on our way to Millport. So we just thought we'd go over since it's so close to Largs. Uh, I just want to say that we had a fantastic stay at the Brisbane Hotel. We just want to say a special thank you to Charlotte in the restaurant, Carla on reception and Kaylee Ann for organising it all. And yeah, we hope you've enjoyed our vlog. Now, if any of you are interested in the offer, I am going to link it below um, so you can book. And yeah, if anyone has any further questions, then just give me a wee email with regards to the Brisbane Hotel. So we're now going to explore Melbourne.